So what are the other things we need to know about the height of the child? Now when do you call it height? When do you call it length? So the same anthropometric parameter is called length in the first two years of life. And beyond two years of life you call it height. Okay. Beyond two years of life, you call it height. So, what is the device that is used to measure the length and the height? So, the device used to measure The device used to measure length is called the infantometer. Okay, while the device used to measure the height is called a stadiometer. Okay, what does the infantometer look like? So, I will show you the exact picture later, but it is somewhat you know, it is a horizontal ruler like thing on two ends of which are two vertical boards like this and you have these centimeter and millimeter markings on this ruler. So one end is fixed, another end is movable. You make the baby lie supine on the infantometer. One person will stretch the limbs of the baby and the other person will fix the board at the head and foot end and you can read out the length directly from this ruler. Okay, So that is an infantometer. And what does a stadiometer look like? So stadiometer is a tall vertical rod like this, okay, which has got a movable headpiece and a platform on which this rod is there. And on this vertical rod, you have centimeter and millimeter markings. So how do you use the stadiometer? So, you know, the precautions that we need to take for measuring the height of a child. The child should stand on the platform, okay. The child should stand on this platform with his footwear removed. Otherwise, you will get a faulty height, okay. So, footwear has to be removed, any hair or head accessories if there that, that has to be removed. And the child should stand on his this platform erect such that the back of the heels, the buttock, the shoulder and the occiput. All these points are touching this vertical rod behind and the child should be looking straight. The child should be looking in the Frankfurt plane horizontally parallel to the ground. He should not be looking like this or like this. Okay. So these are the precautions that you need to take to measure the height of a child accurately using a stadiometer. Right. Now let us see how the length or height of a child increases with age. So before that, what is the length of a child at birth? How much is the length at birth? Yes, at birth. So we are mentioning the length or height. So at birth, it is around 50 centimeters, okay. By around 3 months of age, it becomes 60 centimeters, right. At 9 months, it becomes 70 centimeters and by 1 year, it becomes 75 centimeters. Okay. There comes another question. When does the length of a child or height of a child increase by 50%? So 50% 50 of 50 is 25. So you can see that increase by 25 centimeter has taken place in one year, right? right? From 50 centimeter, it has become 75 centimeter. Never again in the entire life it is going to happen that in one particular year the height is increasing by 25 centimeters. 
So there comes another question that maximum growth takes place in. Again, the answer is first year of life. And the second period of accelerated growth, of course, is during puberty. Okay. So let's write down. So maximum growth takes place during. So the answer is first year of life. Followed by puberty. Okay. And when does the height of a child in increase by or when does the length of a child increase by 50%? Length of a child increase by 50%. So it increases by 50% in first year. Okay, so these are two very important MCQs that we need to know. Now at two years, the length or height will become approximately 90 centimeters. And at four to four and a half years, it will become 100 centimeters. Okay, so again, there comes another question. When does the height of a child double itself? Okay. So, when does height of a child double itself? Or when does the height of a child increase by 100%? Right? So, 100% 100 of 50 is 50. So, increase by 50 centimeters. So, when does the height of a child double itself or increase by 100%? The answer is four to four and a half years. Four and a half year is the best answer. If that is not there in your options, then four years is the next best answer. Okay. So that is how the height of a child increases with age. Now related to the height of a child, there is so this is how you can uh, you know roughly get an idea about how the height of a child increases apart from that there is also a simple formula that you can use to know the expected height at different ages so the formula that you can use to know the expected height of a child so expected height of a child is equal to 6x plus 77 centimeters where x is the age in years okay so if the age of a child is 5 years what would be the expected height so 6 5s are 30 plus 77 that is 107 centimeters okay so that is the formula that you can use to know the expected height of a child now related to the height of a child, there is another parameter that is known as the upper segment is to lower segment ratio. So we need to have some idea about the upper segment is to lower segment ratio. Okay. Now, upper segment basically refers to the part of the body above symphysis pubis. While lower segment refers to the part of the body below symphysis pubis. Okay. Now we need to know what, what, at what age, how much is the upper segment, lower segment ratio approximately. Right. So let us see the normal upper segment is to lower segment ratio at different ages. So the age and the upper segment is to lower segment ratio. 
So at birth, the upper segment is to lower segment ratio is usually 1.7 to 1.9 is to 1. Okay. So at birth, the upper segment is to lower segment ratio is usually 1.7 to 1.9 is to 1. At around 3 years of age, the ratio becomes 1.3 is to 1. Easy to remember? 3 years, 1.3 is to 1. At 7 to 10 years, okay, now there is some variation in different books here. Some books say 7 years, some books say 10 years, okay, some books say 9 years. So, at 7 to 10 years, this ratio is going to become 1 is to 1. Okay, and in adults, it becomes 0 0.9 is to 1. So, that is how the upper segment is to lower segment ratio changes with age. So, this is the normal upper segment is to lower segment ratio that we are talking about. Okay? Thank you.